Tubeway Army from March 1979 and our friends Electric. So, how does it feel then, Gary, seeing that after uh, after six years? Uh, it's only a little bit embarrassing. It's not as embarrassing as I thought it would be. It's not very embarrassing. No. Because no. I don't actually think you've changed that much, to be honest. I mean, you're musically, are, are you that different, do you think? From... Not as a person, no. Uh, not really. But then again, I've always had the family around me, so it's keep, helps to keep your feet on the ground, really. Uh, musically, I think it's changed an awful lot, actually. I think it's, I've learned how to do it properly. I didn't really know in, what in I was what doing respect? then. In what well, respect? Well, that was only my, my fourth single on mm. the second album, so I didn't know how to reduce things. Uh, I'd only just about started going into studios, and I didn't have a producer, because it, it was going to take too long to get one, so we went ahead anyway. And it's done in a little 16-track up in London. And uh, I, I just didn't know be, what I was doing. Be unbearably modest for a moment. Tell me, how, how influential do you think you were at the time? I, I probably made synthesizers known uh, in, in that they could be used to make pop songs with rather than very grand electro classical type Which things. groups do you think were, were, were definitely influenced by what you did? Uh, I don't know. Which I wouldn't, name I wouldn't ask anybody. I know I, I liked Ultra Vox and Human League. Yeah. That's where I got my idea to go into it from. Who, who followed me, I have no idea. They would probably deny it anyway. Do you think you haven't changed as a person? Because it seemed to me at the time that one minute you were playing the, the club circuit, the next minute you, you moved to America and you were a tax exile and <laughs> you, were, you, were, you were collecting guns yes. and uh, voting Tory and all these things I remember reading <laughs> yeah, about you. Yeah, voting Tory. I mean, have you always voted Tory then? No, I didn't vote at all until the last time. That's for tax, yeah. But you voted Tory? Well, everyone votes for their own reason. That's democracy, yeah. isn't it? It's not very typical of the, of the pop fraternity, though, is it, that kind of thing? Well, it's all phony anyway. People think they say. Most things I say is phony, <laughs> really. We got a lot of letters in to see that hindsight clip there, and just this is a typical one actually. For someone who, who describes themselves as, as someone who prefers Gary's early music but still sticks with him, mm. what is it you think has inspired such fantastic loyalty? I don't know, and I don't know why they prefer the old stuff. I think maybe it's because the press have always been a little bit anti me, mm. or a lot anti me maybe, and um, that probably helps people to be uh, to feel like they're into something special, something unique which nobody else likes, and they like that. It's probably why in England you get a lot of People like to be uh, into this week's new thing. Have you a, a great master plan that you can you can reveal? No, not what really. What you're going to be doing in a year's time or something? I don't know. I've I, I got this live album coming out, which is to help a tour in Europe. Yeah. Um, and that's it, really. I'm just just going on like that. Well, I used to make big plans, but uh, not anymore. Thanks for coming on, anyway. Thank you. And we're going to see...